Hey, how you guys doing today? Welcome back to the Outlaw Performance Garage. It's been a minute. It's been a while. Nice to see you. I, go, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today, we're going to be upgrading the fuel system on the ZL1 Camaro. We're going to be stepping up the game, people. We're going to step it up to the triple pump F-O-R-E-4 triple pump system. I mean, man, this system is pretty badass. It has all the bells and whistles to the regulator, to the fuel lines. I mean, upgraded bracketry. I mean, it's got everything you need, all plug and play stuff. Um, you spend a little bit of more to get the uh, plug and play items, but they're definitely worth it. So today we're going to disassemble the DSX tuning external fuel pump. Now, this was a great fuel pump. I mean, it did its job. It got us up to, I think our last dyno pool was a 768 rear wheel horsepower. So it did its thing, but we were definitely maxed out on E85. We were maxed out with 1300 injectors. It was done. So we are going to pull it out. Um, I have it for sale. I got it to my buddy, Mr. Uh, Hard to see. He's going to come over and pick it up and um, I'm going to give it to him for, I consider it a jug because it's like damn near half price. Um, you can get them for about what? 11 something so i'm gonna sell it for six and uh you know get that new that new fuel system that um i've always wanted so this is like this fuel system basically it's like the one like the last one you'll need i mean it's freaking gangster dude it's like the one it's freaking pretty badass you will see it in the next video we'll go over all the uh the odds and ends with it and uh the the, the do's and don'ts and um yeah we'll get that thing unpackaged but for now let's just get the DSX fuel pump taken out of this car and get it ready and all cleaned up for uh, Mr. Uh, Hard to See to come on over and get. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I'm down here, bottom of the car, getting the E85 drained out. Um, here's the lines. There's the one line that's actually uh, tapped into the tank, and then it comes down here. And then you can see I got the zip ties right here. And then the line comes all the way, the one of the lines, the inner line comes all the way here to the pump. That's the, that's the line that's actually tapped into the tank. So it's pulling the fuel from here. Um, and going into the pump so i'm going to disconnect the line up here see that line and then i'm going to disconnect the line here i'm going to leave this filter in and then disconnect the power in the ground and then the, the feed goes up and uh along the sidewall all the way up to the uh the supercharger so we'll get into that later but for now i'm going to first disconnect here and uh try to catch some e85 whatever's left inside here we go there it is. I just disconnected this one. Coming from the rear and I disconnected this guy. And uh, now about to drop the pump. Just want to show you. Um, yeah, it smells delicious under here, that E85. Mmm, corn. Ain't nothing better. And if this don't work, I'm gonna need your muscle. Okay. 
Okay, first one. Hey, how you guys doing? Don't forget to check out my boy Josh at Overkill Performance Garage in Sacramento where he can take care of all your needs. You need that Hellcat modified, no problem. You want to make that high horsepower, he got your back. Or if you just want a simple head and cab package on a ZL1 Camaro or that nasty cam on that Corvette, he got your back. E85 conversions, aluminum drive shaft, differential brakes, he got what you need. So hit up my boy Josh at Overkill Performance Garage in Sacramento and he's going to make that magic happen for you. out all right third one i'm gonna hand you this uh these bolts save them because they're for the pump okay i'm pulling down the lines right here got the zip ties cut i got a set of zip ties right here and then i am going to disconnect uh this fitting right here that goes to the factory one that has this bypass right here so um oh you know what i need a tool for this area right here I gotta go get my um so I'm doing stuff kind of janky style I'm using a crescent wrench but hey it works and but I mean I literally took the entire thing apart with a crescent wrench okay uh, so this is disconnected and then this one I think you just pull back and pull out baby. Um, and fitting on it. I'm just gonna keep letting it drip. I got a bucket right there. Um, I'm gonna lower the car now and see how much more comes out of that freaking out of this car. So let's see here. There we go. Oh man, I wonder how much. E85 is in there. I hope it's full tank is in there, man. Okay, here we are. So now we're gonna disconnect the power for the uh, the pump. There's the power. It comes down here to this, and then um, which is just the fuse, and then here is the. Um, the uh, button you push to make sure it's active. So a blue light will turn on and then you push the button and you can get the pump to um, turn on and off right here just to verify that everything's plugged in correctly. So the ground wire for this, there's just a red and black. The ground wire goes back here and down to there. Okay, so let's pull that out. got off the uh, ground down there so now all I got to do is basically fish this wire right here up and out and I'm pretty sure there it is all right I already disconnected it from down below you can see it coming from right there there it is look at that yeah. Oh shit. There we go. There they are. Still in one piece. Great. Okay. Uh do you do? Okay. Through here. Cut that zip tie right there. Okay, so here it is. 
the DSX tuning external fuel pump. You can get one of these for about a thousand bucks, 1100 bucks, brand new. It's what I paid after tax and shipping. Um, here's everything you need, power, ground. There's your fuse. This is your switch right here to test the pump, push the button after it gets power and it'll activate. Here it is. There's the pump. There's your plug. Here's your other plug. Boost reference. DSX tuning. Testing switch. Ground and power. Fuse. <laughs> Thank you.